President George H.W. Bush being remembered as a leader who played a key role in shaping the world we know today. Here now with a look at the impact he made on the international stage is San Diego State University history professor Pierre Oslin. Good morning, Good professor. Morning. Thank you for being here. It's my pleasure to be here. Well, let's start with this. So President Bush, considered by many as an underrated president. Have you heard that before? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he's no Ariana Grande. <laughs> I know he's got 90 million hits in an hour. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so, so, uh, underrated, I mean, you know, he's, he's, he's a, he's a one-term president, uh, self-effacing individual, um, uh, very, very humble, um, but, but at the same time, you know, I mean, you know, a, a disappointment in terms of domestic policy, but, but his, his, his foreign policy was quite successful and, and quite remarkable in hindsight. But, but we, we tend to focus, we, we tend to judge presidents based on their domestic achievements, and on that level, Bush was, was not particularly successful. Had the re-election been closer to the end of the Iraq war, uh, it would have been an easy re-election. Absolutely. But then it was going back to that promise he made. Yeah. And when you got back home and you ended up raising taxes after saying that you weren't going to, that was his ultimate downfall. And Bill Clinton came along and said, look, this guy said he was going to not raise taxes, and he did. Yeah. So, so you know, he, he ends up in a really tough position, sure. right? I mean, under Reagan, I mean, longest period of growth in, in, in American history. But, but, then, but then this massive budget de deficit, and, and Bush tried to remedy that, and, 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 yeah. and he's dealing with a Democratic Congress, right? So, so that makes it very difficult, and he had to compromise, had to increase taxes, uh, but, but that, that, that a lot of Republicans felt that he was betraying Reagan's legacy, and on that account, eventually took their distance from him. In, in 26 years after he left office, uh, even he said, historians will be the final ones to decide. That was a famous, he always said that, historians will decide what my legacy is. You're saying now in terms of his international policy, he did a good job. It's, it's quite remarkable. Yeah. I mean, in a All the way, things that happened during his right. presidency. Oh, I mean, so, so here's a guy who's afraid of chaos and who ends up presiding over arguably one of the most important developments in, in 20th century right. history. You know, the, the, the end of the Cold War. Mm. And, and, and sure enough, I mean, the collapse of communism and of the Soviet Union eventually could have been really chaotic and very, very bloody. But, but Bush managed everything remarkably well. I mean, he warned again, I mean, he, he even worked with Gorbachev to, to preserve the Soviet Union, to extend its, its, its lifespan, fearing that if the Soviet Union collapsed, we could potentially face what he calls su suicidal nationalism. Yes. And, 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 and have bloodshed as we ended up having in, in places like, like, like Yugoslavia. Mm. And he also was uh, like forced Saddam Hussein out of Kuwait. I mean, this was all under his term. And, and he does that, you know, and, and he did everything right with respect to that. People can say what they want about, about the mission not being finished, but in terms of getting Saddam out of Kuwait, which was the, the, the goal all along, he achieved that and had a, a really a minimal loss of life for, for American and allied forces. A lot of people like to compare because it's only the second grouping of father and son who were yeah. presidents, obviously. Uh, a lot of people compare the two. H.W. versus his son, W. How would you put those two presidencies it's, together? They're very interesting yeah. very, and, and very, very different. If you, if you just look at Iraq, for example, right? So, so, so Bush father goes into Iraq with UN support, with UN sanction, and with a coalition, a really impressive coalition, right? This is a multilateral effort. It involves Egypt, Saudi Arabia, the Soviet Union, I mean, which is remarkable. Right. The son, on the other hand, Goes, goes, goes into Iraq, essentially in defiance of, of the UN position on, on, on Iraq, and then really with, with no real coalition to speak of, right? This mm. coalition of the willing was, was really almost a joke relative at least to what the coalition his father managed to build. Number 41, uh, Pierre Oslin, Professor, uh, we thank you for taking thank the time this morning. Here. My pleasure, thank you very much for having me.